It's Dr. Searcy with your video summary for today. We jumped into an actual tale from the Canterbury Tales. Today we talked about the Miller's prologue and tale. Now I pointed out how structurally the entire Canterbury Tales balances natural and supernatural concerns. And this is reflected particularly in the Miller's tale where his very body sexually explicit tale comes right after a metaphysically concerned, highfalutin, genteel, poetic tale by the night that examines love. Our quotation for the day gets at that where John the carpenter says, men should not know of God's privite, saying, men shouldn't know anything about God's secrets. This is what he says about the scholar, Nicholas, who lives in his house and unbeknownst to him is sleeping with his wife. And my big takeaway for the day is that when we look at the balance of natural and supernatural in this particular play, or in this particular tale, we see it played out in the way that discussions of God's secrets, that is the way the world will work itself out, get reduced not only to the secrets of man, but the private parts of men and women. So we have not only a degradation of God's secrets to man's secrets, knowledge of the divine to knowledge of man, but also a eternal truth reduced to a physical material substance and in the end we're left with a bunch of characters who want to have sex with one another we're reading the wife of bat's tale on thursday